Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rome 2 Siege View today and this is an excellent 4v4 and if you can tell by the title there are plenty of beasts of war that are going to be involved in today's siege and in, to well, in today's siege we have two Pokemon armies, we have Tylus and we have Saba defending against an Egyptian army, a Seleucid or two Seleucids to make that and a Kushite army as well so it will be interesting to see what will happen and uh, yes, the Sleuths are already knocking down the walls and it looks like Tyus is going to be facing them with some uh, Gallo-Thracian infantry already in the front lines. Interesting to see what they can do. But if you want to see more Rome 2 action on the channel, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. And don't forget, when we hit 2k, there will be a face reveal. So if you'd like to see that, then do hit the subscribe button if you're new around here. As the, uh, well, it looks like we've got Hillman coming in first. And some Persian hoplites from the Seleucids. And, uh, well, I mean, these Galathrations are okay. And um, Tyus is definitely one of the more underrated factions. I think they're really, really strong in their own way. But we'll see whether they're strong enough to stop the Seleucids. And, uh, well, well, let's see how many units of the Beast of War there are today. There are in fact one Indian Armored Elephant on that side. I'm pretty sure I've seen a Scythe Chariot over here. Which I guess you can see is sort of a beast of war. Where is it? Scythe Chariot there of the Kushites is over here. We've got some African War Elephants of the Egyptians. And I'm pretty sure that the final Selu uh, Seleucid Army also has some Indian Armored Elephants. Yes, they do. And uh, as that's been going on, well, other, other forces have been landing on the walls or breaking down parts of the wall. And look at this defense. It one of the Pokemon armies has ready. It's like Galatian swords, then sharp uh, bed stones. They have all sorts. And then there is a cavalry sally over here that we better keep an eye on. Because uh, this is, well, this is a lot of Pokemon noble cavalry. And this could be very dangerous. Could definitely go and get some generals. And, uh, I mean, well, the Kushite Royal Guard definitely is a target. I mean, there's also Hellenic Cataphracts that's also a target. We'll have to see what they decide on taking out. But it looks like some of the Gemma Spears... Going to be first into the uh, defences over here against Thorax Swords. Gamma Spear is a solid unit. And we are using a mod again for the graphics. So it may look a little bit darker, but it looks very sharp. I think it, I don't know if it's the map or whatever, but the mod, uh, I'll leave a description in the... Uh, well, leave the link in the description for you to have a look at if you'd like to go and uh, try out the the mod there. To just, it just enhances the units ever so slightly. And I think it looks really nice. And we've got some uh, slaves. I think these are slave infantry. Yeah, I mean, these aren't going to break through the Gemma Spears, but they are just here to soak up the ammo of the javelins and do their bit. And the Thorax over here are already losing decisively. I mean, they are being jabbed in the side or shot in the side by uh, archers, so that is a really good defense there. And Kush is going to need to do some more uh, interesting stuff than, like, what he's doing currently if he's going to break through. I mean, he could try and sneak through this gap here, but they have more Gemmas ready. They might want to try and get off the walls here and just threaten this, but I mean, they've got Gemmas ready again here. They are very much well prepared. They might want to get archers up on the wall. That could certainly be a good idea. Uh, let's have a look and see what's happening on the other side. I mean, how's Tyler's doing? And, and Saba, has Saba actually uh, have a fight yet? Uh, looks like Saba hasn't quite engaged yet from what I can see. But it does look like Tyler's is fully engaged. We've got more Hillman here getting involved against the Galathrations. I don't really know how good the Galathrations are. I don't often see them on the battlefield. I'd say they're pretty okay. I'd say they're probably better than Celtic Warriors, but... I don't know. They'll certainly beat these Hillmen. I would expect them to beat these Hillmen, but it'll be a bit closer than... I don't know. Well, they're... Uh, they're... They're the strongest unit. They're Tribal Warriors. Their Tribal Warriors are so good, and they're a very spammable unit. But they are losing these Hillmen. These Galathrations are pretty beaten up, though. Whether that's to Javis or it's to uh, actual fighting, I don't know. Oh I mean, yeah, these three, uh, these Thorax over here are beating these Spear Warriors pretty convincingly. Which is no surprise, it's Swords versus Spears. But uh, who knows. But this is also a battle sent in by a member of the Discord. If you'd like to join the Papal Legion Discord, then the link is down below in the description. If you think you've got some of your own worthy replays to send in, then do send them in. I'm always happy to show... Uh, Subscribers battles always like to know what you guys like see your best battles and uh, share your 
experiences. And also, if you just like to get involved in some battles with myself or other subs on the channel, then join the uh, Discord as well. Always want new new opponents and new allies in the future battles to come. I mean, yeah, these Thorax Sword. I mean, they are definitely going to break through these Spear Warriors. I mean, they've got Tribal Warriors next. I'm not actually sure whether who would win in that fight. Like, head-to-head -head, Thorax or Tribal Warriors. Let me know in the comments if you... If you have an idea, I think it would probably be Tribal Warriors. I think they're probably a little bit better. Thorax, I think, is probably one of the poorest very heavy units. But we've got some uh, civilian swords here, being Galatian swordsmen. Um, but, I mean, there's some swords, there's some uh, Karanian axemen that have got in behind here. They need to be careful of that. And there's some more uh, Karanian axemen here that could certainly get in behind. And they could should probably come and take out the civilian sword. They shouldn't really allow their fellow Galatians just to die here. I mean, look at that. I mean, they're getting javied now in the back. I think that's by the Karanians. We're now being engaged by, I presume, more Sabians. Not really sure how Sabians are like... Well, I know, they're not the greatest infantry. Are these actually um, some uh, Mazgat... Uh, Axemen, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Mazgat Marauders. So, yeah, Sab has certainly got better cavalry than it has infantry. So, I'm kind of surprised that they are being used by this defender. But, we'll have to see how well they perform. They might do quite well. We've got some more elite stuff coming up here. We've got Thorax Swords. We've got Thorax Swords. Galatian Royal Guard. That's going to be tough to break through. And, uh, I mean, there's some Shota Warriors over here as well. And uh, some side chariots. They need to be careful. They've got some pretty nasty stuff. And uh, Saba might need some some support. But he has got Marib Guard. He's got uh, Mansgat Marauders. They're pretty solid. Who knows? They may be able to have enough. But, I mean, looks like Kush is already routing over here. Whether it's anything good, I'm not sure. It's just the slave infantry, so possibly not. But they need to be careful. They need to be careful of that artillery because there is the Pergamon cavalry now coming in behind. They need to be very careful of that. As the mess goes on down here. Look at this mess. Is this Tireless involved here? No, this is... Uh, oh, no, it's Galatian Swords. I just saw, like, the Celts and I was like... They've not Tireless has not sent stuff over here. But, of course, Pergamon has his own core of... Celtic warriors. But uh, I don't know. Will, will Pokemon make a dash for his... No, he's not going to make a dash for the artillery. The artillery is well and truly safe. Will he make a dash for archers, possibly? Or go dare go for the elephants? Would he dare? I don't know. I think they're pretty solid as they are right now. I think... I mean, Pokemon over here certainly is doing a really good job. With these sharp stones here, it's slowing down. I mean, what's he... Silver Shield Sword's already going in. Jeez, that is a bold play. I mean, he's got Royal Peltas left. He's got his Pikes left. But already sending in Silver Shield Swords. That's uh, not a good sign. Got some Hillmen around there. I'll send them in first. And these Hillmen are trying to sneak around and take this out, I think. These are Gamma Spears. They're just keeping an eye on it. And he's got some Slingers up on this nice little bit of... Uh, well, it's like building up here and they look in an excellent position see if I can get their view for you I mean that's what they're shooting at over there that is what they're shooting at I mean they can barely see what they're shooting at there's not much of a blob I'd hold their fire hold fire but yeah I think on this side the defenders are doing a lot better job than possibly on well I wouldn't say they're doing a poor job on this side they say, oh god maybe they are having a, a rough time there's some thorax swords that have really pushed deep and we've got some Thracian warriors now in here trying to force them back these Thracians with their big old falxes, their big swords. They're really good in shock, like just charging in. They'll do really well, but then in prolonged melee like this, they'll start to get themselves cut down. They better almost be, just see them as like shock infantry if you played like 12-12, or just if you haven't played like 12-12 and seen, like, have the influence of shock infantry, then just shock cavalry, but they're on foot. You just gotta keep charging them. Backwards and forwards. Or just charge them into the rear of units. Which are... It's like evenly matched and surround stuff. Like in this prolonged like fight like this, you can see losing slightly. They just don't like this fight. I mean, it's certainly... I mean... It's losing to... Certainly taking literally every single Tireless unit in here toe to toe. And they still got plenty of their own. They still got Indian Armored Elephants. So it could be quite close between those two. I mean, Tyler Sierra has had to commit a lot of his troops already to stop a very small portion of 
the Seleucid army there. And it looks like Egypt and, well, the small Kush force here are just going to get inside the city quite easily. And, I mean, they could make a dash now for Tyrus' defenses, which I would possibly do. If Saba's not going to come out and commit, I'd probably try and do it. I mean, they've got this force here as well of cavalry as Tyrus. They might want to start charging them inside the city, doing some damage. Again, they've got slingers up on this wall here. And they've got probably a really good angle. They've certainly got better targets than on the uh, other side with Pergmon. Because there's more here. And yeah, they're shooting at everything down there. I mean, again, there's not actually masses down there either. More coming in now. I think it's more Thorax swords coming in. Yep. They will uh, be needed. Because they're already breaking everything out. Jeez, they actually have got... I mean, they've sorted that out quite nicely. Those Thracian warriors there and the uh, tribal warriors did their bit. And they're breaking these Thorax swords. They're going to need every single man they can get now. I don't know. I thought it was okay. They're looking okay for a bit. But now that Seleucids have sort of turned it around a bit. Egypt's got to start doing some offensives. Because he's late to the party. And to do a good attack, you need to all attack at the same time. But look at this. Got Tyus on the left. Egypt on the right. Just standing off each other. Jabbing each other. Using every bit of weaponry possible before going into combat. Getting every advantage possible. But yeah, it looks like over here these uh, Thorax are having a rough time against tribal warriors. Gallo, Thracians. You name it. It's in here. But, I mean, yeah, it looks like... I'd say Pokemon's got his side pre-wrapped up. I don't know. I say that. He's still got his elephants. These elephants can take names. But Pokemon is really trying to uh, do something with his cavalry. And he's going to charge to the back of these troops over here. He's got to go through sharp stones, which will slow his charge down. So, that's not a good idea. Hopefully, he's not going to do that. Yeah, thankfully, he's not. He's got Pokemon... Um, Pokemon, sorry. He's got uh, a game of spears up here on the wall. This is going to be nice. So he's going to throw into the back of all of these uh, all of these troops down here. And he's got pikes coming up as well. He is really throwing in everything now. He really wants to rout these uh, forces of Seleucid. And it looks like he's gone for the general. He's actually going to go fully commit for the general. Who I think was trying to defend his archers. And, uh, well, this cavalry over here is going to go after the archers. Oh, it's going to get chased down by elephants. So, no, they've gone in. They have gone in. They're going to get... Attacked by pikes and elephant zone. Here we go. The first elephant charges have begun. Interesting to see what damage they can do. It is always good to see these elephants in combat. And these guys are fresh. They've literally not seen a single bit of combat. And they will probably, uh, well, they, yeah, they've routed that cavalry. And no surprise there. These elephants are nasty, especially against cavalry. And again in here, you can see under the trees, the elephants are going to route this cavalry as well. And that's going to be annoying. Certainly for Pokemon, he needs his cavalry really. I mean, that his ally, the other Pokemon army, uh, he's sent some cavalry around as well. They've, they're pretty bad. I don't know how much damage they've done. I mean, like I said, they had to charge over the sharp stones, which just slowed them down. The general here is losing, though. That is a bit of a, a relief. If he can keep this elephant unit occupied, he can take out this general unit. But no, he looks like he's going to go after archers. I don't know. He just doesn't really need to. There's not much left of this, this army. I don't know why he decided this was the target to go for. Kush might be a better option. He's got some pretty elite units. Left. He's still got armor shoulder warriors. He's still got a ballista. And certainly this Pokemon army here seems to be having a lot more of an issue with Kush. Who, yeah, well, you can see here, he's just cutting these guys down. These armor shoulder warriors will do so much damage to the Pokemon armor. And they've got archers in the back that are going to fire down into the rear of these uh, shoulder warriors. But they don't care. They don't care if they get shot in the back. They just carry on killing. It looks like a bit of a sandwich is going to take place. Got another, per uh, another again, a spear, you know. And they're running out. They're running out of stuff. They've got another cavalry unit back here. They want to send that out, really. No point in keeping it back here. I guess you could keep it inside if you're going to charge against maybe Egypt. But you might need to start 
doing that now. Speaking of Egypt, he has started his assault over here. And uh, Saba's certainly having a hard time. This Egypt, like I said, has got to be the uh, one that's got to save the day for the attackers. And he's got some uh, Thorax swords here. They're just attacking the side of these Marib Guard. That's not good. Saba needs to give the order. I don't know what happened here to this unit, if there's a unit here, but... Like, this just defense is undone because you've just not defended the flanks properly. Yeah, these Mercenary Marib Guard are getting cut down by Galatians. Yep, yeah, you are going to die, Marib Guard, if you just carry on fighting like this. Fight harder. Fight till the last man. And the Shota Warriors in here as well. They're going to be helping killing off the uh, the Marib Guard. Certainly with like their armor piercing. What do they route? Some uh, Levy Thoros Spears. Oh, nothing important then. And they're setting up more troops. Caravan Guard now going up. I would have put them in first. They're worse than the uh, Marib Guard, I'm pretty sure. And we've got pikes in here. The pikes have got their pikes down, I presume? They look like they have, but they seem to be out of position. Yeah, I mean, at least uh, Sabah's doing a good job here killing these pikes off. Let's just get rid of the foliage for a bit. But, I mean, no, you should carry on that fight. These uh, pikes here are just for the taking. And you turn them around. Uh, it's going to be it's gonna be a rough one for these. Uh, what are these? These are mercenary mascots. Uh it's going to be rough. I mean, it's piking though. got pretty beaten up. He has got some cavalry in here. Or camelry, I should say. And he's going to do stuff with this. He's going to get trapped. No, it's not. It's going to go on. It's going to go on. Run down these uh, Galatians. Every last one of them, boys. Excellent. Excellent. And they've got another unit in here as well. Oh, nice. Well, maybe they'll... I don't know. They might hold for a bit, but it's going to be a chaotic hold in comparison to other parts of the... Uh, of the map. And this is another unit of Beasts of War, I guess. Of the Beasts of War. But in a different way. Like, they're on the, uh, they're on the defending side. Not the attackers just bringing variants of Beasts of War. It'd be interesting to see when the, uh, side chariots can do if they can do some damage. I haven't seen them yet. Unless I've missed them. But I don't think I have. Can't see any chariot carcasses yet. Elephants. Are they tired? They are exhausted. They've run the entire way here, I think. Yeah, I think Kush must have committed his chariots early. Oh, yeah, he has. They're here, dead. Oh, that's a shame. I missed them. Wow, they routed early. I don't think I can see many chariot carcasses. But anyway, they routed. I mean, we've got all the generals in here for Egypt. Wow, the Kranian Axeman unit. Cyber is actually taking really good advantage of, uh, well, Egypt's decisions here. I mean... I don't know. He, each of the thought was doing a really good job here taking out Saba, but I mean, maybe not. Maybe he's not. I mean, the elephants are now coming in. Oh no. Oh no. Elephant! Oh, these aren't the strongest of elephants, though. They're not as strong as, say, the uh, Seleucid ones. But they'll still do damage. And they're pretty. They've not lost a single man yet. Egypt's got to, like, round this force, get this force over here. But now Tylus has sent troops over. A really good play there by his teammate. It's even just cavalry. Like, send this cavalry in, and he's done the right thing. He's just occupying troops here. This is really, really good. Well played. Good teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. And it's just a chaos of bodies in here. Is there. Well, the noble horse tries to force a way through. And we've got tribal warriors in here fighting... Their brethren, the Galatian Royal Guard. Interesting to see what happens with the rest of the elephants. Have they gone in yet? It looks like they are going in. Not just yet. Not just yet. I mean, obviously, the elephants on this side, I think this perg one's basically finished. Which is a real shame. Yeah, the elephants are getting stuck on the sharp stones. A really good play. Uh... If you're going up against elephants. Oh my gosh, look at that. Did they all simultaneously die at once? Oh my god. It's like um, synchronized elephant dying. That's that's a real shame to see if you're a big nature lover. But if you just want to see a load of Seleucids die, you'd be happy to see all them die dead. That's a real big win there for the Pokemon player. And now look, the general's in here, the Hellenic Cataracts. Again, he's having the sharp stone issue. And he's having a fight here. I mean, certainly the sharp stones, I mean, the Seleucid players should not have carried on assaulting here 
It's just not a good idea to fight over deployables, especially when you're attacking. But yes, this is uh, turned into a bit of a massacre in there. Just a bit of a massacre. I mean, now they're actually focusing down. They've got archers over here, and they're focusing down the crew of the Kushai uh, Ballista, which is really good. I just try and blow it, uh, burn it with fire artillery. I mean, but yeah, they're trying to just... I mean, they're making holes in their own uh, pike infantry line here. Like, they're trying to kill the pikes here. It's not... They're just killing their own first. Uh, really, I don't know what they could do better with that, but... Kush is nearly finished as well. Like, this side is in... Well, is having a lot of a much harder time. I mean, they uh, Kush just went through one, like, choke point in the end. It became one choke point here. Sword defended here, but... Pergamon didn't put much effort here. If they actually just went on the walls, like here, the Kush, and then came off down here, they could have done a lot more damage. They need to stretch. Like, if you're ever playing as an attacker, just stretch them. And there you go. One of the artillery blown up or burnt, which kind of makes it explode for some reason. But yeah, you've got to just stretch defenders. They have less resources than you. If you uh, make it nice and easy and attack down a couple of spots that uh, favor the defenders, you're going to have a hard time and more than likely lose. And now the sluice is just taking the time. They're just going to chip away at Tylus here. And, uh, well, you've got some infantry left. You've got silver shield swords. Uh, they've got cavalry. They've got elephants left, which is most important. They could actually charge in most of this stuff. They've only got one unit of Oswan here. And then they've got Oswan here. So they could probably send most of their infantry down this way, occupy the general of Tylus and most of the reserves, and then send the elephants in this way. And maybe the cavalry. And they could do a lot of damage. They could go in, send the elephants. They could wreck this oath sword and then send the cavalry in. Oh, here come more reserves, though. That might that might uh, make it a bit harder. But we'll see. Tyus just seems to have plenty left. He's got, like, troops all the way over here. Saba is in a lot of trouble, though. Uh, it looks like these elephants for Egypt are still causing havoc and issues. I don't know whether Egypt's lost his general, though. Egypt has lost his general. I can't see the general unit left. So that is good for Saba at least, and for the rest of the defenders if Saba does die here. And Egypt lives on. And it looks like, I mean, they need to take out these pike units. That's a really good unit to take out. Fighting it head on like this, though, that's not going to happen. And there you go. I mean, this Marav Royal Guard's stuck in a, between a hard point, uh, a rock and a hard point here. It's the general as well. It's just a tiny Galatian Royal Guard. They need to charge for this uh, Royal, uh, this Thorax Pike here. Keep them squished. But yeah, I mean, Egypt's got very little left. Very little left now. I mean, he's got Galatian Royal Guard holding on here to the end. They did a good, good, good job. And there you go. I mean, they have actually sent more in. They have broken these Thracian, uh, these uh, Persian light archers, sorry. And now these silver shields are getting surrounded. So, I mean, they need to be careful. They can't just send units in here to go and die. If they want to have a chance of breaking through this line. I mean, look at this mess. They are actually just pun pushing through a little bit. I don't know. They're certainly forcing back the lines. I mean... Send in the elephants. At this point, just send in the elephants. This is all their defenders, like all the like Tyus's forces here, blobbed in one area. You can use the silver shield as a, like a almost as a uh, magnet, and it's kind of what he is doing. I mean, he's got unit, this unit surrounded. It's doomed otherwise. Send in the elephants now. And they can do so much damage. I mean, before Pokemon gets it, but Pokemon's already on his way. Oh, I mean, Kush has got his general. Th through though he's going to take out some uh, peltas some pick peltas that's not a bad target but i mean they probably use a lot of their ammo at this point and he's trying to go after more slingers and all sorts i mean pergamon's now sending back pikes and galatians so i mean he just about broke through to kush but look at what cost i mean he's got nothing left he's got some armor shotels left and he's got a general and that's about it and it looks like he's going to charge into these galatians brace brace men oh jeez yeah, they, they, they knocked over quite a lot. Yeah, they might rout those Galatians. I don't know. Yeah, unit losing. They're trying to go after these uh, archers back here, these slingers. 
They're trying to go after just about any missile unit, but they're going to lose a lot of men just pulling out. Oh, well, maybe not. They are rowing a lot. I don't know. It's going to be close. Certainly on this on this front here, it could be close. If uh, Pokemon doesn't get involved, I think... I still think Seleucid has the means to possibly route everything. He's got artillery left. He's got elephants. If you can keep them alive and stop them from uh, routing... Here we go. These elephants. They're going to do damage here. They're going to do damage. These tribal warriors have just charged in. Or Oath Sword. I can't really tell. They're both very similar. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Oh my gosh. There's so many troops of Tyler's in here. You cannot miss. I mean, they're, throw, they're firing like... Um, I mean, they're already killing a few. That's the thing. That's the worry, though. Tyler's has still got plenty of archers left. He's got... Oh, no, this is um, Pergamon. He's got, like, slings over there. I mean, he's routing a lot. Look at that. He has routed a lot of troops. He now needs to go into these archers. But this is the problem. You need to kill archers off first if you have elephants. Or just ranged units off first. Because this is what happened. Look at these elephants. I mean, they're already down. A lot of units. No! Stop killing them! They're endangered species. But they have routed everything. This is what I mean. If you just... If he got these guys up here earlier, when Pokemon wasn't set and ready, when Tyler's was on his own, be in big trouble. Be in big trouble. Egypt's still pushing on to the cap point, which is back here, I believe. Back here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. So, I mean, Egypt's getting close. He could nab a victory if he can take the cap point and then hold it, but he's not got much strong infantry left. He's got to face pikes and a gamma spears and even more gamma spears. He's gonna sneak around, which is smart of him. But yeah, so sadly those elephants over here look like they're gonna die a uh, terrible death. Oh no! Stop it! Stop this murder! But this, that's the effect of elephants. That you can do a lot of damage. And I mean, the Hellenic Cataphracts are in now. They can chase down some stuff, but there's not much to chase down. I mean, they can go after these uh, Oathsworn, but they probably die doing just that. The Elephants might re-rally. There's only one of them left, though, so they are not really got much of an effect. Only the Elephants of Egypt are left and intact. I just charged this again with Spear, really. Don't allow them to throw jabbies like this, because that's going to kill Elephants off. They're going. They're actually going berserk, but they are charging in the right direction. They are charging in the right direction, and they're going to kill them. Oh no! Run again! They're going to form a square. That's not a bad idea. I guess that might stop cavalry, but it might not stop elephants because that's what elephants do when they charge into squares. They just break them. I think the Pokemon cavalry might have slowed their charge as well. The elephants charge, but I'm not really sure. And, I mean, Egypt's been fully routed on this side. What everybody had here, I mean, it, there wasn't... I mean, his Thorax Pike's broken 94, but he lost his general so early on. And now, Pergamon's cavalry's going to just charge into these uh, reserves of... In, well, of uh, archers here. I mean, these are all just going to get absolutely mopped up, these Cretans. These poor boys. And the elephants are coming, though. The elephants are coming. They're going to be like, no, how dare you kill our Cretan brothers. We need them. Uh, and they're going to catch a few of the Pokemon cavalry, but not many. I mean, this is a general. Something worth going after. But yeah, just use fire. Uh, like ammo. You could just kill these guys a lot quicker. Scares them. As you come on. But that is probably going to be the end of the battle. I mean, there is ever a few, like, units left of the attackers. But the defenders have done a really good job. They've, uh, they've stopped the attackers really, well, getting in. I mean, well, and the elephants kind of got nullified. I mean, they had so many of them, but they uh, still couldn't do, still couldn't do what they uh, needed to do. As in, look at this. This is just cat and mouse here. This uh, poor cavalry's been just chased by the elephants. I mean, they're getting a few kills of the elephants, a bit of success, but not much. Not much at all. Be better like uh, just going after infantry, just charging the infantry and get. A glorious death like so but I mean 
Well, here we go. They're gonna charge in down this street and they're gonna get absolutely peppered by slingers. I don't even know if they'll make it to the slingers. Like, oh, they're gonna make it to the general though. The general's actually been caught out. They are getting killed now. Oh, poor elephants. But yeah, I mean, I was quite surprised how many elephants were brought. I mean, they're a great use, uh, like, tactic to use if you can, like, like, units to use if you can use them well, but they don't seem to be able to, none of the players seem to use them extremely well. Um, I mean, the Seleucid player that was facing Pokemon over here, um, where my cursor is, like, on the flank with Kush, did a good job in just routing all the cavalry, but when I said they did excessive damage, they seem to just, uh, well take them out and then after that they just charged in over some sharp stones and got themselves killed. They might have been better going after through the Kush choke point. At least there, there was no sharp stones to slow them down. But there was left some silver shield swords, some cataphracts, and another depleted silver shield sword. And that's it. That's all they have to face all of this. I mean, they did a good job, but uh, it's not going to be enough. And this, did this general die? I don't know. Probably not, no. He killed all the elephants, so well done to him. So it is now the Seleucid General and a few troops, and he's going to just, well, I just charge in honorably and die. Die a glorious death. Here we go. Charges in. Excellent charge. I mean, very good use of the wedge. It'll break through this line, but I mean, all that's going to happen is that you then get faced with an archer volley and a load of uh, Gemma Spears or, well, whatever, really. Just in this case, it was a Gemma Spears. And yeah, I mean, I just maybe do maybe another charge. You might get another one off, but it's just really not going to happen today. Not going to happen for you. And there you go. The general's already wavering. Just charge it all in, all or nothing, I say. And there you go. He's wavering. He's going to probably break. Just. Fast forward a little bit, get through some stuff. I mean, they keep forming squares with the Gemma Spears. I don't know why they keep doing this at this point. It's a great formation, but I think you don't get the max out of your unit sometimes. And it's only great for holding a, a choke point if you're, like, needing to win somewhere else and you've got, like, a Gemma Spears. But in this case, just forming a squares, there's no need. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this battle. It's certainly been interesting to see uh, how people, like, play with elephants. And possibly, I wouldn't say this is the wrong way to play with elephants. We'll see how the kills that they got at the end. They might have got hundreds, but um, I don't think they, like, you can get hundreds of kills with elephants and you're like, yeah, they, that paid off, but it depends what you kill with elephants. If you kill archers with elephants, it's just a waste. You might as well just bring cavalry. Much cheaper. It won't, like, just go berserk randomly. And uh, people don't often, they don't target it as much necessarily. Ta Cav can go unnoticed sometimes. Or well, elephants, people always like just pin it and just go, right, we're gonna we're gonna make sure we leave ammo for those elephants. Same with pikes. Uh, so yeah, it depends how you use the elephants. You can get like 90 kills with elephants, but if you go after the right units, like a general or pikes in the rear or something like that, or I don't know, a really elite uh, unit of swords or something. Um, and that's possibly a better use for them. But we'll end the replay and we'll have a look at the end results. So this was sent in by Aiden, who was playing as Pergamon. So we'll have a look at his uh, results first. Who had he had all the cavalry here, as you can see. Um, his best one getting 160, which is not bad. The rest didn't do so well. They got something got routed by an elephant. Some didn't. Um, but his slingers got 161 kills, which is really good for slingers. Um, because they're so cheap and pretty rubbish, but they were in really nice positions on those uh, like buildings I showed you earlier. They could just shoot over the front lines, and then um, a Gemma Spears. I think the best one getting 144, which is pretty solid for them. His Glacian Swords getting 155, 175 even better, and his Pike seeing 275, the best unit in his entire army. So well done to Aiden. And then um, Anzac here. I just realized that all the defenders are subs and members of the Discord, so uh, that's excellent to see. Um, so yeah, Anzac here, playing with Saba, getting 112 kills with his uh, Marib Royal Guard. His uh, Caravan Guard not getting so many kills. His uh, Sabian Archers are pretty poor, getting uh, 33 kills. And, um, well, his uh, Marauders getting uh, the best, I think, getting 141. It's one of his best units. And his uh, Camels getting 229 here, so they did pretty solid as well. 
And then uh, Murray, who was playing as Tylus, he got 312 kills with his Noble Horse. That's really, really good. His uh, Gallo Thracian Infantry getting 288. That's pretty good for them, but they were fighting more of the weaker stuff at the beginning of the fight, so you kind of could take that into consideration. His O Swarm getting 155, 163. They did pretty solid. His uh, Thracian Warriors were only getting 50 kills, which I think is the one that flanked um, the Thorax. Didn't do so well. And then um, the Thracian Warriors getting 153 there, which is pretty good. And then the Tribal Warriors, 305 kills. So that's excellent. And they, uh, well, they always do solid. They are great. And then Koops, who's also playing his Pokemon, he uh, got 118 kills with his Cavalry. His Gamma Spears uh, getting 114, which is not as great. Well, I don't know why his Gamma Spears are split in two, but they are. Um, actually, yeah, he's got... Better Game of Spears down here, actually, 127. Then his uh, Arch is getting 123. And uh, his Galatian Sword is getting 110. And his Pike's only getting 93 kills. And then we'll have a look at the attacker. So we have, um, well, M. Le, I don't know how you say M. Le, maybe, I don't know. But he's playing as Egypt. Um, his African War Elephant's getting 399. They would probably did fight more of the nasty, like, actual... Infantry, they did fight a lot of uh, Sabian infantry, so that's actually pretty good. They are 399, I'd say good kills. They actually did kill some good stuff. Nearly getting 400 swell into them. The Cretan Arch is here getting 141, which is very okay for them. Uh, his Galatian Royal Guard, 229, the best one. His Pikes, 268, which did really well. I'm surprised the other one didn't do as well. But this one broke so early. His Cranian Axeman getting 119 kills, which is pretty solid. And his Thorax Swords, actually doing worse than his Cranian Axeman, only getting 107 kills. And then we have uh, Michael Asha, uh, 64. I mean, his Seleucid uh, Force did not do so well. I think he was facing uh, Aiden in that choke point um, with the Sharp Stones. But yeah, his... Uh, Indian Armored Elephants only getting 125 kills. Definitely not worth it. I think you've got to get over 200, 250 kills with, any, with Armored Elephants to like your money's worth. They cost a lot of money, so they need to get a lot of kills. Um, his Archer's not doing so well either. Not getting any kills, really. His Hillman getting 53 kills and nothing, really. His Pikes getting 154, which is pretty solid for them. Um, his Royal Peltast, 104. His uh, Thorax Pike's only getting 63, which is poor. And his uh, Silver Shield Sword's getting 81, which is just not worth it. Better just bring him more of the Royal Peltas to just get more jabbies, just better. And uh, and his uh, Thorax Sword's getting 81 kills, so again, pretty poor from then. The Mercus, who's playing as Kush, he got 174 kills with his Blister. He got actually 157 kills with his General, which is pretty good. His Side Chariot's 139, which is pretty good for them. Um... I mean, again, I'd possibly want to be trying to get nearer to the 200 mark with chariots to see, like, get the worth out of them. Otherwise, I'd just bring more infantry, like more show to warriors, armor show to warriors, which is just really good. Like, they got 302 kills. That's just excellent. They just that's a solid 300 kills you're probably going to get with armor show to warriors, um, which you may not get with chariots. And his arch has got 180, 118, and his uh, Kushite pikes get 144, and his show to warriors get 189. Then ball tree 666. Uh, getting Hellenic Cafrax, his general getting 68, his uh, Greek Onager getting 60, his Indian Armored Elephants getting 327, and they did kill some pretty good stuff, but I think they could have gone in earlier. That's my uh, my opinion. They could have gone in a bit earlier, and they could have possibly got further in and uh, not got focused down by uh, archers, but who knows? Um, Persian Light Archers getting 100 kills, 125, which is okay. His uh, Thorax Swords... 108, 142, which is 148. They did okay, but... I mean, I think Thorax Swords sometimes can be really good, and then sometimes they just do awful, which in, I think in this case, most uh, scenarios for the attackers, they did not have a good time with their Thorax. His uh, Silver Shield Swords, though, getting 258, which is pretty good, and his Pikes just didn't perform at all either. But if you enjoyed, guys, do remember to leave a like, subscribe for new around here, and a comment. It's great to be back in Rome 2 doing some vanilla. Uh, I've missed it a little bit. But yeah, if you'd like to see more, then... Please let me know in the comments and do subscribe if you're new to the channel. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.